Hello everyone and welcome to my balcony garden. Today's video is how to plant compact lily corms into pots, this one here, it's very easy. Lilies grow really well in containers, it's a perfect way to enjoy these gorgeous and fragrant flowers if you don't have a garden. Just before we get started, I just want to mention that there are many different species and cultivars of lilies and they have different requirements. Some need larger pot size depending on the size of the bulb, the planting depth also depending on the bulb and also soil requirements. There are other things as well. So when you're buying your lily corms, check the packaging. If you're not sure, do some research online before you plant them just so you can get the most out of your flowers. Best time to plant them is from March to May. It's the middle of May now, so let's get to it. So I am planting a compact variety, as I mentioned, of lily called Pixie Mix. I do always try to go for dwarf or compact varieties of plants for the balcony. I have limited space. These babies are gonna grow to around four to five centimeters high, tall. Uh, so that's a good size for me. These corms are actually smaller than normal. So they're, if you compare them to other lily varieties, the larger ones, these are significantly smaller. I think they're about five to eight centimeters in, um, in diameter themselves. And the size of the bulb is always gonna affect the size of the pot that you choose. I'm planting them in this terracotta pot here. The diameter should be at least 20 centimeters for a bulb, or sorry, for a corm of this size. Ideally larger. I think this one is around 22 centimeters in diameter. Uh, so that should be fine for the three bulbs that I'm planting today. I'm gonna to also be planting these bulbs at around 10 centimeters. As far as I know, these don't develop stem roots, so we can plant them a little bit shallower. It's also important to check your corms for any signs of pests and diseases. Give them a nice squeeze, a squeeze as well and they should be firm to the touch. If they're squidgy at any point or you see mould or anything like that, just discard them. So the first thing to do is put some broken concrete at the bottom of this pot. You can see there's already a drainage hole there. That is also a must. So I'm just going to arrange them sort of higgledy piggledy. This improves drainage and we don't want our corms sitting in water for any length of time. We want them to be moist but never saturated and the crockery, broken crockery helps with that. Next I'm going to fill my soil until it's about 10 centimetres from the top, so we're going to fill it to about here. Oi. Old. <laughs> I have an old bulb. <laughs> a scary bulb I think it is. I'm taking this soil from um, my spring flowering bulbs. So there might be some bits of leaves, foliage still in there. So I'm firming gently down as I go. I'm using a good quality multi-purpose compost. You can also mix in some horticultural grit or sand. I am not going to do it this time because my balcony is so warm this is a terracotta pot as well, and I don't want the soil to become too dry. I do want it to be able to retain some moisture, so I'm actually gonna be leaving that out. But if you would like to do that, that's your choice. God, I sound a bit out of breath, but it is unbelievably hot where I am right now. Um, there's just been a storm outside and everything is so humid, so apologies if I've got like some weird breathing going on. So now it is time to plant our corms. Every bulb or corm has an, a top and a bottom. This is the basal plate here at the bottom. This is where the roots are going to come out. So as you can imagine, you put this on the bottom there and then this pointy bit here, the tip, this is where the foliage is going to emerge from. So we put that pointy up, pointy bit up uh, basal plate roots at the bottom. So I'm planting three bulbs into this pot. It does seem slightly large for a pot of this size. If you can imagine lilies though, when they grow, the amount of foliage that they have on their stems, you do want to allow them to have enough space for the leaves to grow, for them to photosynthesize, and just for the overall look as well, so you can admire the entire plant. So I'm gonna be planting three of these corms, and I'm gonna place the first one here. I want there to be a good distance from the, the outer part of the pot, and I'm just snuggling it in like that. I'm gonna plant the next one here, which is more at least five centimeters away from its friend. And then the last one here. I'm going to fill the rest of the pot now. 
Good luck. So we have it planted. Now I would recommend adding a label because if you're growing lots of pots like me at any given time and you don't label them, well then it's just a nightmare because you forget which one's which. I'm going to give this pot now a very nice big drink. I want the water to reach the corms and I want it to actually saturate all of the soil here. And then I'm going to place it just there where my other pots are. This is a nice um, part of my balcony that is sheltered but also receives full sun. Lilies do like full sun. I'm going to keep the soil moist but never saturated so I'm probably going to water it maybe like twice a week. And once the foliage starts to emerge I'm going to start feeding maybe fortnightly with a high potassium feed. This is going to help with the flowers. And hopefully by July or August I'm going to have some beautiful lilies on my balcony. So that is how you plant lily corms into pots or containers. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you would like to support the channel subscribe. I hope you're all staying safe and well and you're enjoying your late spring moving into summer. I send you all my good wishes and I will see you in the next video and I will hopefully see these ones very soon. Thanks for watching, goodbye.